Okay guys, we have a tiny problem. Every time our page refreshes, portfolio values disappear. They're not being persisted indefinitely. They are temporary. We need to change this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create add, delete, and get portfolio API calls. We're going to rip out all the old dummy code that makes our data temporary, replace it with the calls, and this is going to allow us to persist our data. This is also going to be the last video. So after this, it's job time. So let's go ahead, let's hop into VS Code, and let's get this thing figured out. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is we want to go inside of our services folder, and we're just gonna make our uh, portfolio service. I'm gonna say portfolio service.tsx, and same exact thing that we did before, we're gonna go API HTTP slash slash localhost. And I am going to set this to port 5167 slash API slash portfolio. I'm gonna add another slash, make sure you add that slash. And then here I'm gonna go down and start creating my functions. And I'm going to create just one function so that we have something to work off of. And I'm gonna say portfolio add API and async course because it's going out to the internet we don't know when it's gonna finish and we're gonna create we're gonna just gonna drop this down make it a function and I spelled async wrong async okay we are looking good next thing we're gonna do a try catch as always before and here's where we're going to do our axios call so we're gonna say await axios post and we need to first bring in axios right here then we're gonna go into our models and this is where we're going to, so go into your models folder, I was a little quick there, and create a uh, portfolio.ts. And here's where we're going to create the types for the actual portfolio. So I'm gonna say export, we're gonna call this type portfolio get. And here we're just going to have an ID, it's going to be of type number. We're going to have a symbol, it's going to be of type string. We're going to have a company name. It's also going to be of type string. We're going to have a purchase. It's going to be of type number. Uh, the last div is going to be of type number. The industry is going to be of type string. The market cap is going to be of type number. And the comments is going to be of type any. So you, you could type that if you want to, but I put any. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say type and I'm going to say portfolio post. And the portfolio post is going to be uh, really easy. And we're going to reuse the portfolio post for the delete as well too. So we don't have to keep typing at all. We don't have to type out another one. But once again, you could, you could also type out the delete if you want to. And then we're going to go back to our services. And now that we have our types, we can really start rocking and rolling. So we're going to say portfolio post. We're going to go into here. We're going to put our API uh, variable that we just made along with a template literal with a question mark and the symbol. And we're going to, uh, once this is a template literal, so we need a dollar sign and we're going to pass in our symbol. Okay, simple enough, return the data, go down, handle error, go ahead and make sure to import, uh, import that. Um, let's see, then we'll go over here do a quick import and make sure that we pass this in. Now that we have our API endpoints, or one API endpoint, we can just kind of copy them down. So this one is going to be uh, the delete. And the delete is not going to be much different. Just make sure that you change this to delete and leave the post, leave this, this is what you want. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so that looks good go here, here's where we're going to have our git. So we're going to have git, nothing's going to be passed into it because our JWT is gonna do all the work. Make this a git with an array, make sure, so it's a portfolio git, make sure you add that array or else it's going to uh, give you a bunch of errors. And also uh, make sure that this is git as well too, or you're going to get an error as well. So make sure you get, uh, make sure that this is right. Make sure everything's looking good. And we're pretty much good to go on the services. This is just a weird error that happens when 
you uh, don't use TSX. This is that error that I was talking about, but it's not really a true error. It's just um, VS Code getting confused when something's not TSX. So we probably should have made those TSX, but oh well. So we're going to work down from the search page. We're going to start at the top of the tree and we're going to work down from the search page and just kind of work it down into our components. It's going to be really easy to do all of this. We, just, we don't even have to create any components. We just have to swap stuff out. And the first thing that we need to swap out is our portfolio get or our uh, portfolio values. We need to switch out the type. We need to make this a portfolio get, and we also need to make this a null because null can come back from the uh, API. So we need to be prepared. We also need to make a function that's going to get our portfolio. So we're going to call this get portfolio. Um, bring this down. We're going to call our portfolio get all. We don't need to pass anything into it, remember, because the JWT does everything. And we're going to have our then arrow function drop down. And this is going to be if optional res. So the, this technically, it can't be optional, but for some reason TypeScript thinks it can be optional. I don't know, weird TypeScript thing. We'll say get portfolio values, and we're going to pass in the res.data. That looks good. And here, what I did right here, you could do this a different way. You could just um, just do nothing, but I'm going to go down in here. And I'm just going to say toast dot warning could not get portfolio values exclamation mark. Bring in toast. I'm so say control or command dot. I'm on a Mac, so that looks good. We've got our Git portfolio. We can now start working on our create. So just we're going to rip all this out. We don't even need any of this anymore. And we're going to use our portfolio add instead. So portfolio, we're going to say add. And we're just going to go ahead and toss our target in here. We could destructure this out, make this look a little bit better. But I think it looks OK. And you, if you followed the course, you kind of know what's going on. We're pulling that value out of the search. Then we're going to go into here. And we're going to say if the res optional, which just can't be optional if, or if the res status is equal to 204, which is created, we're going to say toast.success and we are going to, let's see here, say stock added to portfolio, exclamation mark. Then we're going to go down here and after we do the create, we're going to fetch our portfolio again so that the users can see and if we don't get anything, what we're going to do is we're going to say E, go down, and we're going to do a toast.warning. I'm just going to copy this so we don't have to um, type it all out. And I'm going to say could not create portfolio item. OK, that looks good. So let's go down to on portfolio delete. We'll just go ahead going to get rid of all this um, portfolio delete not really once again not really going to be much different we're going to say e target zero dot value and go ahead we're going to do the then so let's go ahead bring that down so it makes make it look good and within here we're going to go get our response back arrow function and within the portfolio delete we're going to say if red if res status is equal to 200, and then we're going to go down. We'll say toast dot success stock deleted from portfolio looking good. And then what we'll do is after we do the delete, we'll get the portfolio again, just so that we have real time and the users can see right after it happens. Okay, and the last thing that we need to do is we need to have a use effect so that all of the portfolio values are fetched on the render. And we're going to go down here, create use effect, go ahead, import it. And only thing that you need to do when you do the get effect is get the portfolio. So we're going to say get portfolio and we should be good to go. But the bad thing is, is that this breaks everything down the tree. So we need to fix that. And the way that we're going to fix that is just go ahead here, add a uh, exclamation mark, then just control click or command click if you're on a Mac, go into the list portfolio. 
we're going to change the portfolio values from strings to portfolio get or a array of portfolio get. And when you do this, this is also going to break the card portfolio. So we need to go into the card portfolio. And here we're gonna swap it out again. And we're gonna say portfolio get. And instead of having all of this down here, the actual string, we can actually dot into it because it's going to be, uh, once again, it's going to be saved. So I'm gonna say portfolio.symbol. And also this is going to be a uh, portfolio symbol looking good. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna do one last um, check to make sure everything's looking good. Oh, almost forgot. Always make sure to add the array. So let's go ahead here and let's go ahead. And I think that should be good to go. I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, restart it. So let's go ahead, npm start. And let's start up, see what we got. So everything's looking good. Let's go to search. Gonna go type in Tesla. Everything looks good. So let's go add. Boom, stock added to portfolio. That's one. Let's make sure that we can delete it. Can we delete it? Boom. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's try to add a couple more. Let's try to add Microsoft. And we also need to make sure that's persisted. So we go add. Boom, delete Microsoft. Let's make sure Tesla has persisted and we got it. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Take this course, go get a job, spiff it up a little bit more, make the front end maybe look a little bit better, make the front, make the UI look, uh, make it look really spectacular. Make sure to add a footer, make sure to add all types of little stuff to it to make it, make it look really good, deploy it and you should have a job. Anyways, I'm going to add a couple more things to it, but I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, making your way through this. This was a really long course. Hope you get a job. Anyways, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.